after the bloodbath in Hamlet. It's all out with darts. As much mixture as the bard, plot-wise. Well, it was double 2B, or double 2 not to be, and in the end, said it was double 1, but uh, you know what I mean. I, I think he rather let himself down there. Split, if you'll remember, 94. 15 with 11 instead of 7. But that's gone now, he won the leg, however clumsily. When shall we two meet again? Thunder lightning or in rain. You never know in Blackpool. They're loving it. Perfect lie. Didn't take it nicely. Still a chance there on the 60. Blob there. Should have done better with that lie, John. Yes. Well, certainly like a cauldron in there on this first night. Remember the early days, Sid, when they used to huddle up? Because we were looking to fill spaces. Now this is the hottest ticket in town, even in Blackpool in high summer. He down out Joe Longthorne and Chubby Brown. This is the places where the lads and lasses come down. In Blackpool. Martel leads 4-2 in this race to 10. 25 handy now. Lovely dog, nicely picked up. So the exact dip imparted. Yeah, beautiful throwing that from Dudbridge. He's got to get, he's got to get a grip with the business end of the game. Two hits 40. out of 13 attempts. Last leg, he should have broken back. Tops. Games on the seventh leg. Mark Dudbridge. Lock these two. Nine nothing in it. Both Robert. average and 89. 140. Superb use of the line. Lost the weight there, and that was a clumsy adjustment. Bad 40. visit. Well, he knows it, and uh, 100 and these behind. Marl would like to punish that uh, rather disappointing effort from Dudbridge. Good last start. You said they've both been uh, finalists here, yeah. and both lost to Taylor here. Yeah. And that's a beautiful use of the dart. This is tricky with the flight. Oh, perfect! Perfectione! Yeah, he knew exactly the weight, same weight as the other two darts, and hope that it finds a way through, and it does somehow miraculously on occasion. Sometimes we see it diverted, of course, and say hard luck, but when it goes through, great to see, great to watch. Marlin. 60. Oh, we know that. But we'll just leave a nice little. Two dot and me thinks. 130. And me thinks nothing wrong with the last dot, Johnny. Absolutely said, Sue. It's, it's a wonderful effort that from uh, Mardle and they're on, on a 13 data for 5 3. Gadzooks, you're right. 100. Lane, you require 32. Double 16 on the wire. It's a dip, half an inch south. Oh, can goes three feet westward along the hockey. Oh, perfect! That was harder than the angle made it look. There's the easy view. What a shot! Yeah, he moved to the right, didn't he? Opened up the angle himself, and uh, that. But then he's got to readjust the weight of the throw. Did 16. it absolutely perfectly. Knew the other two darts were there to cushion it. Lovely to watch again. This is a good game. 90.33 Marl, 89 Dudbridge. The reason why those averages are not as high as they should be is that one leg where they both struggled on the double. Spot on, Johnny. This is science. This equals MC squared. Excellence equals mass time. Cram them in the double. 60. Fantastic atmosphere. And they're never very far away from that little bit of the pi R squared that they're aiming at, Sid. That's the thing. That's what makes this a good game. I know we've had that one ropey leg. That apart, this has been super stuff. The targets. The size of a rhinoceros's toenail. The target. The angles of entry infinite. Needs to dip. Comes for cover. No good. Unhappy. 
only 56, but still on Dudbridge's throw, a lead of 118. And the pressure beginning to tell on Flash Dudbridge. No kidding, Johnny. 119. As I say, look at the business face on Mardin. Just to go up the city in a suit. It's like John McDonald, half caller. 100. Up the city in a suit. Prefers it here with the lads. Not in a suit. Well, Sydney, I know one man who'll be rooting for Mark here. The delightful Pat O'Loughlin with his sponsor in Ireland. Watching this and hoping that somehow Mark can find a way back. Marble looking pretty determined to me. This is a big ask. Mark require 160. Not sure I'd fancy Dubridge to get back from 6 3. Vital visit. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Beautiful. Needs this. Needs a red bit. Yeah. Oh! oh! What a finish from Dubridge. What six on <laughs> game on what a finish that brilliant brilliant and the look on Mardle's face Sid 55 old fashioned me granny Mary Jane would have called it and did it please Dudridge he came down there like a kangaroo on a booger stick what a match what a match tell you what Sid Mar uh, uh, Dudridge's strength in this game Notwithstanding he's losing, he'd be losing by more if it were not for this strength, has been his throwing at double top. As I recall, he's had three darts at double top and hit it three times. He struggled when he's gone elsewhere, gone another route. But that double top, it's been very, very good to him. And uh, he, he'd be looking, I would think, to try and concentrate on landing on double top, confident of hitting it. Magic! And a gentle gesture, like Olivier saluting the gods. I mean, the people at the back. A gentle, actorly 100. salute. Because the winning of the game is more important than the riotous ecstasy provided by the crowd. 98. Oh, there's many a great orator that occupied this stage, Sid, in party conferences, TUC conferences, but these lads are making their darts do the talking here, as did uh, Mark Walsh earlier, averaging over 100, 101.4 in beating Colin Lloyd, 76. and we'll see another cracker following this, as Marble looks for 76. Tops now for 6-4. Oh, yes! On fire! On fire, under control! Where Scargill shouted and Frank Cousins cried. Marvel is showing the beauty of being in the Darts Union.